Hey, brothers and sisters. Um, lately, I've been watching a few of these uh, Saxons uh, YouTube channels, and uh, they know what time it is. They really know what time it is. Um, and many of our brothers and sisters who are caught up in this system, who are doing whatever else, and not paying attention to what's going on. Still walking around, flashing money, young and old, and they don't know what's going on. You know, um, Brother Kali, for a while, was talking about the blue Kachina, red Kachina. I haven't heard him talk about it anymore lately. Um, but Brother brother Kali was talking about blue, blue Kachina, red Kachina for a while. But um, many of us are not watching what's going on. The um, but these Saxons are reading the Hopi, what they call the Hopi prophecy, and you know what they call the, the Hopis, which was actually a part of the Anasazi tribe, um, which is part of the Pueblo, which is our people. All right, don't think the Pueblos is some. Uh, Oriental Mexican, whatever Pueblos of the Pueblo tribe was our tribe, was our people. All right, all these were our people, and our ancestors, the Hopis, which many of the Hopis are still alive today. It's just that our tribes have been so dispersed, we don't know what tribe we belong to. But they told us we're from Africa, though, and they wanted to make sure that we didn't know what tribe we we're coming from because. Each tribe had a certain level of power and energy. We talked about that before. But the Hopis, which were time travelers, all right, they went to these temples, they went inside of the um, transmutation circles, and they walked among us. Many of you brothers and sisters don't even know that, don't know how long ago don't know how long ago because the Hopis knew about the the invasion of these Saxons and they knew how long it was going to last but what they saw what they looked at was the, the formation of the planets all right and they saw the galaxy they saw they saw the pole shift they saw everything you know even the, they wrote in their um in their writings you know, when end times are here, there will be spider webs across the sky. I remember reading that. I'm going to find the what they call the Hopi prophecy, which is our brothers and sisters who were time travelers. And we're going to discuss the Hopi prophecy or what they call the Hopi prophecy. But I want to find the authentic version and not um, some watered down version. But um, I heard Gina Marie Coven Hill reading off of it. Um, there was another guy reading off of the, the Hopi, uh, what they call the Hopi prophecy and the things that were going on and how they, and they, how they were talking about the things that were actually happening that was written down. And you got to remember our ancestors, they were part of our ancestral bloodline, the Hopis. They were time travelers and they walked among us. They were watching everything that we did, but they did not interfere with time. Right. They did not stop anything. They saw the horrific things that these Saxons did to us. They saw the horrific things that we did to each other. But they did not stop or intervene. They just recorded everything and wrote it down and said, this is what's going to take place because they were time travelers. All right. They went to what you call the future. They came to our area. You got to remember that energy goes in a straight line. And you can go into what they call the future and just go on that straight line of energy you see what's going to happen and what's not going to happen you can actually in the present day you can change the future in the present day by linking into the energies and making certain things happen that's where you get into sorcery and witchcraft and all that stuff you know but um just wanted to briefly talk about that you know we're gonna we're gonna discuss very soon we're gonna discuss the what you call the Hopi prophecy because they knew what our, what these Saxons told us of stars were actually planets up there 
they knew the movements of the planets and what was supposed to be like right now many of us don't know you know you look up in the sky and you see that big bright star and it's jupiter jupiter the the, the poles have shifted all right 180 degrees counterclockwise because now jupiter is in the northeast the i'm sorry is it it's in the not northeast it's in the northwest part of the sky and not the southwest part of the sky all right which means we have shifted 180 degrees now we're getting ready to shift another 180 degrees which was a 360 degree shift and then everything is going to be going full motion counterclockwise all right it's kind of it's going counterclockwise uh, uh very slow right now the hope he's talking about that all right they talked about the 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 planet or the realm changing its motion going in the order of nature and not the order of mankind all right so many of us have forgotten or many of us don't pay attention we're you, you gotta understand what's going on all right so what you call the hopi prophecy these are our brothers who time traveled and they saw everything and they wrote it all down and it was then later on it was deciphered and and um translated into this english language to tell us what's going to happen these sexes know what's going to happen that's why you know we tell you all the time these sexes know how it ends they know how it ends so what are they doing they're partying because they know in the end they, they won't be here but they're partying all right I was listening to another guy and he was talking about, you know, this, you know what? I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there. I'm, I'm going to scratch that. I'm not even going there. Let's stay on the subject. So the Hopis, um, they saw all this. And like we say, it's not a prophecy. They always want to say prophecy like somebody saw something. No, they're, they literally time traveled. All right. They time traveled and they went into the far far future and told us how everything was good everything's going to happen how everything's going to end and it's happening now all right so um, i'll keep you guys updated and when i do go do it i'm going to go live but when i go live just let y'all know i'm not going to be um answering anything outside of that subject all right i'm just Straight up, I'm not going to answer anything outside of that subject because that's going to be that's a very important subject, the Hopi prophecy. All right, guys. So, um, catch you guys later. But the Hopi prophecy, what they call the Hopi prophecy, our brothers time traveling coming to the future, and they tell everything that's that's happening now is is literally happening right now. All right, Gina Marie Coven Hill saw that blue with the blue planet or the blue star or whatever that you want to call it. And she was kind of shaken up. So, you know, they know how it's going to end. And they're paying attention to the things that our people are not paying attention to. Our people still running around killing each other, acting all crazy about some shoes and some money and all that. And don't know that the end is here. All right. I'll catch you guys a little later.